All right, welcome to this new playthrough of Battle Brothers. It's been quite a while, uh, and probably I wouldn't be doing this except some of you guys have been asking me to. So let's go ahead and look at this game. I've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of it in the past, uh, but I'm very ambivalent about playing it now. Um, for reasons that if you've watched my previous series, you'll know, and if you don't, well, uh, it's not important. Let's just go in and see what the game has to offer now. Uh, we are going to be the Salty Dogs. I spent some time trying to come up with a good company name. I was debating the Social Justice Pirates, but I think Salty Dogs is what I'm gonna go for. We're gonna do a random late game crisis. Permanent destruction's fine. We're gonna go with a random map seed, uh, because in my opinion, uh, basically, you shouldn't have to rely on a good map seed to be able to enjoy this game. So we're just gonna go in and see what we get, okay? Uh, next, economic difficulty. We're going to go ahead and go with expert. Combat difficulty, we'll go with expert. Uh, you know, if we die sooner, then, you know, I guess we'll start over again sooner. Starting funds low, and I guess we can... Here's my problem with doing Iron Man. This is going to be a little bit complicated. Um, my problem with doing Iron Man is the way the game uh, accesses the hard disk when you play on Iron Man. Uh, I don't know if this has changed. I kind of hope it does. This is also related, I think, to the problems this game has had with Avast, the virus protection software in the past. And I noticed that Avast really doesn't like the... didn't, at least, like the way that Battle Brothers would save uh, constantly when playing on Iron Man. Like, if you leave a village, the game would save. If you would do this, that, or the other thing that really didn't actually change the game state, the game would save, and that means it's accessing the hard drive, and for whatever reason, I think that's why Avast didn't like the game, uh, and would treat it like a virus, and then shut it down, or other other horrible things would happen. Like, it would crash. Like, sometimes Avast wouldn't do anything. It was just having Avast and the game running at the same time would cause a problem. And so that's why I'm still very reluctant to push it with Iron Man. I think if you turn off Iron Man, well, there's not going to be the constant saving and therefore not the constant access to your hard drive. And so therefore it only saves when you save. And I tested this out a little bit and it seemed okay. So I'm going to try to do this without Iron Man on and see what happens. Uh, hopefully my game won't crash when I save and I'm going to try to save between each episode or every few episodes so that, you know, if it does crash and burn, I still have my save to go back to. The other problem with playing with Iron Man was uh, your save would get deleted too. So, you know, if the game crashed, your save is gone as well. At least in my case, my save was gone. I had no option for recovery. Uh, and I don't know if that was an anti-save scum feature they added in or not, but um, that was the way it was for me and I'm not okay with that. Uh, I don't wanna have to like save scum by going in and copying a save file before I load up the game just in case it's gonna crash, all this stuff. So there you go, guys. That's my first kind of criticism of the game. Um, and also, yeah, we're just not going to do Iron Man. I'm going to play Iron Man style, so that way um, we will... I mean, I don't really plan on reloading. Maybe I will. I'll let you guys know if I ever do, like if I get totally crushed by some really heinous RNG, but I don't feel like ending the, the game um, at that point, then, you know, I'll let you know if I do reload. I know a lot of people really like to watch Iron Man playthroughs, and I just hope that uh, those of you watching understand why I'm not playing a strict Iron Man mode at the moment. It's it's just about my fear of the game crashing. Okay, so uh, the first thing I do when I come into the tutorial battle like this, which uh, is still unskippable, because who doesn't like an unskippable tutorial that you have to play every single time you start a new game, um, is I check the equipment of the guys I'm up against. And if they have really good armor, because sometimes you can get really good armor or wep well, yeah, usually it's the armor you're paying attention to. You can get really good armor spawning on these guys. And if that's the case, I usually want to salvage it. So I'll do the dagger spam trick where, uh, you know, you don't, you don't lose your first brothers. But the armor on these guys isn't particularly awesome. So we're just going to try to kill them. Get this show on the road. Um, we'll move our Axeman here, but we will not attack with him yet. We'll move our Spearman up first, and we will go ahead and, uh, we'll wait on the Spearman as well. Now it's our turn for the Axeman to attack, and he misses, and we'll get our hit with the Spear. Okay. Unlikely to salvage this armor. And, of course, he moved up there. That's okay, we'll handle it. Since he is, 
in melee range, we will go ahead and salvage this guy's armor by uh, hopefully piercing him down. It's not terrible armor he has, it's just not armor that's worth taking the hit point damage on. Now, this guy's already taken some damage. I don't really want to lose his armor, but, you know, whatever. We'll get a surround bonus here, and the sooner the better. Uh, go ahead and go up here and get your surround bonus there, too. Oh, he's still going after this guy. Whoa, we, he actually missed, too. That was pretty good luck. Uh, yep, go for it. Oh, we're doing good. We might get lucky. I've had this tactic, like, stall out for, like, turns upon turns, like getting to turn 20 or something ridiculous and I'm still trying to stab the guy for his armor and then having to rest because I fatigued out, etc. So, anyway. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll get him. Nope. Oh, that was good. Okay, that was actually pretty... I'm pretty happy with the results of that. And uh, as you can see, we get the padded surcoat and the open leather cap. Um, I'm going to make this uh, kind of public service announcement right now as well is I am not a uh, Battle Brothers fanboy. Uh, I have, like I said, ambivalent feelings about this game, uh, and I will probably voice some uh, opinions that are not popular with people who are fanboys. So if you are a fanboy, you may not want to continue watching my playthrough, okay? Like, I'm just gonna kinda call it as it is about how I feel um, about the game. I'm not gonna try to, I'm gonna try not to repeat um, opinions I've stated ad nauseum in the past, and I don't wanna be overly negative either in my playthrough, but uh, yeah, just warning, I may be salty ahead. That is why I chose my name for my company. Uh, we are going to do the Hogart quest, and off we go. Right, now who do we want to hire? This is a new feature in the game, you can actually try it out. <laughs> try it out! Try it out, man. Um, and uh, find out if the recruits are any good or not before you hire them. Uh, we will not be doing that, but I do want to get these guys. The brawler is a good catch. He doesn't have any equipment. First thing I want to get here is equipment. Ooh, actually... Okay, actually, I'm tempted to get some of these and try to make a profit as well. Okay, we need to take a second here. This is an unusual opportunity, is we have trade goods in our first town, and depending on where we're going to, we might be able to make a profit oh my goodness this is really good luck not only do we have trade goods in our first city we also have our destination I mean in our first village we also have a, our destination being a city now the goods we don't want is we don't want to pick up dyes because that's just gonna we aren't gonna sell dyes at the city either we don't want to pick up wine uh, and we don't want to pick up uh, leather of, yeah, furs or anything like that. So, cheese? We could sell cheese at a profit or anything else. Now, I do know that dye was the other thing in here, so unfortunately we will not be picking up the dye because, like I said, we aren't going to be able to sell that for anything. Um, mead. We can do mead. Okay, we're going to risk it. We're going to spend all of our money that we do not have a lot of on goat cheese and mead. And I will go ahead and pick up a militia spear. Actually two. And the shield. And the pitchfork. Okay, we're set. That's gonna be pretty good weapons. We'll try to pick up the rest of our weapons back in the city as, long, as well as some recruits. And then we're gonna get our last couple recruits here. Whoops. And uh, go from there. I guess we can also equip our guys. We'll wait and get the rest of our guys before we do all of our equipping. We're not going to get into a fight in the meantime. Or, I hope we don't. Okay. Please tell me that I can sell this stuff at a profit. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've made a horrible mistake. So, as you can see, we bought this for 86 and we can only sell it for 77 Same thing with the mead. Well, guys, that's unfortunate. We're going to have to cut our losses on this one. That was a bad call. I knew it was a risk, but anyway. We'll keep these two because we'll actually still want them for feeding our troops. But that puts us at a, bad, at a bit of a bad place. We just lost some money for no good reason. Um, as far as hires... As far as hires, I'm not crazy about the beggar. 
I will go ahead and let's get the, uh, we're not going to spend money on try it out because we don't have time, or we don't have money. We will go ahead and get this guy, the uh, apprentice, because he levels up a little faster. A uh, gambler I'm not too crazy about. Uh, these guys are really good, but he costs 730, which is going to kind of bankrupt me a bit. Which leaves the gambler and the tailor. I'm going to get the tailor because he has a special event we can get, although the special event isn't nearly as important as it used to be. Uh, right. Let's check our current equipment. Our current equipment uh, and these recruits. Oh, by the way, guys, leave your names if you want. Um, I'll probably preemptively put a few names in, but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so let's get our archer set up with his stuff. He does not need this just yet. Uh, he can wear this instead. And get in the back. Alright, Who? El what else do we have here? 58 hit points is terrible, 47 is even worse. Uh, but this guy actually has melee potential. Let's give him that, and a helmet, and cloth armor. This guy obviously needs... we need shields, okay. That's what. That's the other thing we're kind of looking for here. Is, uh, what do we need? Please tell me you have some shields. You do, 62% will take, because I have supplies. What I don't have is a lot of spare cash. Looks like we're going to have to buy a shield at full price, aren't we? See, we need one more guy, and we're going to get that brawler back in the village. So, uh, we need to get one more set of uh, spear and shield. There's a cheap spear. Going to have to pay full price for the shield. Cheap helmet or two. Yes. Okay. Kind of skirting it a little bit. Ooh, this is actually a good price, too. How much is my expenses per day? 60 crowns per day. Let's do it. Alright, like I said, guys, we're really skirting it. Really pushing our luck. Okay, there you go, there you go. Hopefully we can repair all this stuff. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, and a gambeson as well, because I took it off of you. So you can wear the gambeson. This is 50, this is 55. Good, we've got, and we've got what we need for our second recruit. Let's put the bandages, and I'm gonna give the bandages to you. Whoops, they go there, I guess. And uh, yeah, let's uh, head back to the village, get our last recruit, and hopefully we'll have what we need to take on Hogart. We are really, really broke. that guy's going to cost us 80 and we're still going to need to deal with another day. Um, okay, we're going to sell the goat cheese. Again, not happy about that decision that I made, but it was a risk. It was a gamble. No, what? Recruit at least. Oh, we'll be fine. Get our third man up here. Hopefully that'll take care of it. I don't know. Maybe I have to walk all the way back to the city, in which case, uh, that's annoying. Hope not. Hope I didn't do this out of order. If I did, apologies. There we go. We'll return with his head. All right. <clears throat> He's very close by. This guy is freaking awesome. Uh, hit points and stamina. This guy has got to live. Oh, wow. This guy's awesome. Yeah. Uh, even more, even more so than you, I'm afraid. You get the best stuff we have. How are your hit points? You're going to be fine. Okay. Suit up, guys. It's time for battle. Let's see, I'll leave you there. I'm going to put you here. Actually, I'll switch you with that. And, yeah. I believe this is 30 and this is also 30. Okay, yeah, we're fine. This is what we're going in with. Now, we could lose very easily. Uh, RNG is what it is. Oh, wow, we're not going to have quite enough to repair all of our stuff. That's too bad. So let's not waste what we have on our weapons. 
Okay. Let's try to repair our armor and such as much as possible. Okay. Let's wait. We'll attack at night also because we have the DLC. Well, not the DLC, but like the supporter edition uh, helmet that lets us see at night. So it gives us a little bit of a advantage and makes attacking at night a uh, possible thing we can pull off. Okay, everybody got their stuff? No, you need your pitchfork. If you went in battle without the pitchfork, I would be very sad and angry with myself. Here we go. Engage. All right, look at that. We're gonna get up on this uh, right first. And we'll put you here. And you're not gonna do anything, so end your turn. This guy we want to uh, stab down, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, one mechanic I really don't like about this game is that uh, your chance of looting armor is basically based on how much durability is left on the armor, which creates a weird metagame that I really don't like, where you basically need to kill people with daggers, like I did in the tutorial, where uh, the dagger pierces the armor, so the armor doesn't take damage while you do damage to the hit points. And so you get this, yeah, like I said, it just turns into a weird metagame of, like, surround the guy who has the armor you want, and then, uh, you know, kill him that way. So, uh, anyway, shall we spear wall? If, when you do spear wall, um, it can pay for itself in fatigue, or it can also be a horrible mistake. Um, we'll go ahead and go for it. But all one guy has to do is get there and not trigger the spear wall, and basically it was a waste of time. Or they just do this, because my guys had lower initiative. Okay, good hit. And... Okay. Good. Uh, we could spear wall. And this guy is actually kind of a threat because he has a uh, flail which can ignore shields. Even though this guy is probably the easier one to hit. We'll hit this guy because it, as soon as we kill him, the other guys have a morale check. And the sooner their morale goes down, also the sooner we'll win. So um, we got the archer to deal with too. And we're not in position to actually kill anybody with you. Damn it. I wish I'd played that differently. Yep, see what I mean? That was totally not worth it. Totally ineffective move on my part. And now I'm the one who's losing morale. Good job, me. Okay, at least we've taken that guy down quite a bit. Uh, this guy for sure. Ow. Ah, please don't let me die in the tutorial. That would be sad. Yeah, keep focusing on the guy that we can actually kill, that we can actually hit. So they're not taking too many morale hits, whereas we are. Uh, you are surrounded, so I want you to put your shield up, and... Yeah, that was actually the move to make first before putting the shield up, but oh well. Yeah, this guy's got to go too, because he's got the... Uh, armor destroyer. Okay, good. Wait and see if I can move you up. Ugh, man, just taking a lot of damage here. Um, we'll go ahead and kill this guy. Good. That's what I wanted. I wanted that hit on his morale. You're running, huh? I don't appreciate that after all the work we've expended. Uh, hmm, one, two, three. Yeah, none of us are going to be able to make it to that archer. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
right, right. None of these guys had dag. Oh, he did. He did have a dagger. Dang it, I should have grabbed it. Okay. Keep your shield up. Got a dagger over there. I'm gonna pick it up. Okay. If only we could get this guy to fatigue out. Very risky, very stupid. Doing it anyway. No guts, no glory. Ah, it's fine. Okay. Can you move over here? Not quite, not yet. Can we pierce and hit him and hopefully hit his morale, too? If he starts to flee, we're going to be in good shape. But he didn't, so we're going to probably take a big hit here. Oh, good. Okay, we can wait. So again, guys, this is the metagame that's kind of uh, a little dumb and annoying, perhaps, to watch. But this is what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm... I don't want to hit his repost. We could try to shield bash him and lower it. Nope. Okay, good, he missed. That's uh, promising. Okay, there we go. Now we've got him. This is where you want the enemy to be when you're trying to do what I'm doing, which is stab him for armor. Uh, no, run him down. We don't want to let him go. He's fleeing, and since we surrounded him, he won't be able to go anywhere, which means we can just take our time knifing him, assuming he doesn't recover his morale. The danger when you surround him and he still has morale is that he can kill these guys very easily, and then, well, what have you accomplished? Okay. Uh, we're out of stamina. And can you do it? You did it. Very good. All right, let's go to loot. You can see here what we've picked up is the patched mail shirt. Let's grab it. They, you always get some kind of commodity after this fight, which is nice because then you can sell it for a decent amount of money usually. Uh, falchion, cool. And uh, yeah, the patched mail shirt. I'm not sure why it's only 70% because I was stabbing him the whole time. How did it take damage? Whatever. Leave. All right. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm not going to read the wall of text terrible writing that's in this game uh, because it's terrible writing. I don't like it. Um, let's see. A Daz Tactic on his live stream was like, you know, somebody put a lot of effort to write that. And it's like, yeah, it takes more effort to write less is my feeling. And I'm right. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. All right. Maximum fatigue plus four, obviously. Melee skill, plus three, uh, certainly. I wish we had gotten a plus three on our melee defense. Uh, resolve. Oh, dang it, he's got cocky. That's annoying. Sorry, guys, we'll go over our uh, bonus traits here in a sec. Yeah, actually, let's take a look here. No morale checked upon losing hit points. Uh, plus five morale minuses on melee defense and uh, range defense. That's just horribly annoying. Um, really, with these guys, you want to raise their melee defense very, very badly. But I'm going to go ahead and ra raise range defense since we got a rare plus three there. And as far as perks go, well, I'm just going to punt and do student. And uh, with Wolf the Black, go ahead and click to level up. Always take range up on him, and max fatigue is great. Uh, hit points or resolve, that's a good question. You really do want resolve. Yeah, you really want resolve. You want your guys to be about 50 resolve, I think is the common wisdom. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do hit points. Okay, same thing with perks, student. Okay, 
There we go. And back to Thunstetten to collect our pay. At high speed, please. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. And we've got nothing to do here. So why don't we just go ahead and walk to town while we're, while we're waiting for daylight. Oh, you know what, though? The reason why is because we have friendly relations. That's a good time to buy stuff, is when you have that early boost to relations in the starting village. But, you know, we've made several mistakes in this playthrough, so why not make some more? Anyway, look at all these contracts. Look at them all. Uh, what do you want? Uh, ghosts are afoot. Uh, anyway, I can't just let's get off my... So, I need to go to cemetery and clear out what troublemakers. Let's talk money. Um, we need to be paid more for this. I accept. I accept. And... Let's see. Oh, man, we're really getting kind of jacked on stuff. And you don't have... You're not selling supplies, really? That's just highly annoying. Um, we'll check out the DLC stuff here a little bit. So like paint, um, you know, to paint it, this item will be consumed. It just changes the colors. The metal pauldrons uh, increases, you know, stuff on your th stuff. Like, yeah, plus 30 durability, whatnot. Um, yeah, there's some other new armors added to the game. Cell Swords armor and whatnot. Uh, we're not here to buy these things, though. What we're here to do is uh, repair our stuff. And unfortunately, that's what we're going to have to do because we have no supplies. So this needs to be repaired. Uh, this needs to be repaired. Shield, spear, don't care. Crossbow, dagger, eh, you're fine. You ought to be fine. All that stuff's fine. It's uh, armor that I care about. Actually, what shield? 95%? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. And any other recruits? I wouldn't mind getting another recruit, but we don't have the money for it. So, dang it. What we do need is we need uh, armor. Okay, here's an experiment for science. Um... Let's buy the 50% padded leather. Full padded leather is 322. Let's see uh, if it's if it's cheaper to repair it this way. Pay 80 to have it repaired. We save money by doing it this way. Okay, Alt plus right click. There we go. Excellent. Now, if we are fighting undead then the sword will actually be a better weapon because it has a chance of getting a fatality. So why don't we do that? Man, this brawler is pretty cool. Um, strong is the maximum fatigue. Sorry, guys, forgot to show this. We got Determined and Spartan on one of our battle brothers. That's good. Uh, Iron Jaw, that's fine on our Tinker. And uh, Quick and Sure Footing is great. Happy about that. This guy's faint-hearted. is kind of lame, but whatever. Okay, so let's put the armor back on our guys. Uh, you have 91, so you can wear that. You're at 81 now. You're at 88. You can certainly wear that. Um, this is also pretty good at 65. That's better than what you're wearing by just 5. You can wear the padded leather armor. Um, I think we're set. I think we're set. Like I said, I'd like to sell that for more than what they're willing to buy it from me for. We'll try to hang on to it. Um, let's get rid of this and this, because I don't care. I don't care that it's cheap. Right, anything else we want to pick up? Uh, another helmet, maybe? 113. We're really running low if we do this. So, let's not. Let's not. Let's just go take care of the cemetery. I'd, I wish I could get another guy, too. Okay, it's just down here. We'll check it out. If uh, if it's doable, we'll squeeze it into this episode. If it looks too scary, I'll wait and uh, do it in the next one. Unknown garrison. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, we're not going to know now, are we? 
Uh, we're just gonna go straight on in. Now, I did want to set one of you guys to a sword. Now, it's only 41% on the falchion. Problem is, you guys could very easily burn out your weapon. That puts you at 69 fatigue. I'm not okay with that. You can have a backup weapon. There we go. And we'll switch to the spear if it's something ridiculous like ghouls. <coughs> um, let's see. You can find a group of men over an emptied grave. Okay, so uh, we don't know who we're facing, but whatever. We'll just go in. Okay. Um, yeah, fortunately, we got some high ground options here, so we're going to try to make that work for us. think we are going to be able to pull it off. Uh, and we're out of AP for you, so you're going to stick with the falchion. Seven of them against six of us. It's going to be a little bit more tricky than the Hogart fight, I'm afraid. Uh, the good news is they don't have shields. Who's next? Some dude over there. Okay, I'm going to move you here. Yep, there we go. And up you go. Who to shoot? Do we want to shoot yet at all? Do we want to shoot anyone yet? Because these guys will move in close range and I'll have a slight bonus, I think. 67%. Let's wait. Again, wait. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. I'm trying to flank me. As usual. 95% chance to hit. That's what I like to see. Alright, we need to kill these guys down as quickly as possible. There we go. Let's get our surround on him. Slice him up, please. Good. Good rolls. The RNG gods favor me today. Although that could change in an instant. Again, Flail's dangerous. His Flail is very dangerous, and he's lightly armored, so he is the obvious candidate for destruction. If we hit. Only if we hit. Only works when you hit. Um, you are... done. I'm afraid. Bad situation with that. Ooh, he stunned me. That's not great. We are going to move here to protect protect our archer. Unfortunately, I used too many of my uh, action points. 73%. Yeah, that's going to be our best shot. Let's take it. Time to switch to daggers. And hope we don't get killed. Okay. That's going to leave me the option to hit, so we will go here. Please kill him. Okay, he's fleeing. Ow. Not great. Yes, I'm going to say yes. Um. Yeah. Good. That got him down quite a bit. We might even be able to kill him. Yes, we can. And... Hey, you actually hit. Good job. Oh, now you're really hurt. Oh my god. These things do so much damage on the head. On head hits. It's really not cool. Okay. Oh man. If 
he gets hit in the head, it's not a good time. There we go. Got him taken care of. We'll wait. If we could kill this guy, that'd be awesome. It's awesome. We want to try to surround this guy if we can and take his armor. Nice. You can stay there, run him down. Yep. Uh, yep. Do you have, who has my, who's got my other dagger? I can't tell. Um, do you? You do. Give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Not great chances of getting his armor. We'll try. Again, maybe. Okay. Well, we got a chance. Hey, we got it at 58%. Good deal. Just take everything. All right, back up north. We still have absolutely no tools and supplies. Let's go ahead and finish our levels up with these guys. And we'll take the plus three melee skill. Uh, plus one is a terrible roll. We'll take the plus three fatigue. Uh, and actually, I guess we'll take the plus three resolve. His resolve is really dangerously bad. And as far as perks go, this guy's kind of crappy. I'm going to give him fast adaptation to start with. Yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer skill. I mean, it's not a no-brainer skill. I should say it's an easy skill to take because it's always useful. Um, okay, plus three melee defense, also kind of a no-brainer. When you get it, that is. And definitely hit points and fatigue for now. Get this guy pretty tanky. Ah, student. Let's be optimistic about our chances of survival. Ah, and this guy's awesome. A plus five hit points. Are you kidding? Plus four fatigue, plus five on the hit points. Um, <laughs> talk about somebody who needs fast adaptation, though. It's going to be this guy. Uh, you know what? Sure, take, take the high initiative, man. You earned it. All right, fast adaptation on this guy, too. Okay. And you, you whom I do not care that much about. Wow, another plus six on that, okay. Uh, yeah, hit points, sure, because we got the six. Um, I'll take the plus three range defense. The fatigue would be good too, but whatever. Uh, and with this guy as well, fast adaptation. Okay, now let's uh, set up our equipment. So this thing has been... Nope, that's not the one that's demolished. This is the one that's demolished. This one's been demolished, so let's put that one on. Since they're all kind of equally crappy. And how are we doing with the spears? 85% versus 83, that's still fine. You can wear... Whoops. You can wear this. Okay. Uh, anything else we want to do? Uh, the flails are not bad. Chance to hit head plus 10. That's what's so scary about them. Uh, and the lash ability ignores shields, which is also... What? Did I forget to put that on somebody? What's going on? Don't tell me I did that. Oh my goodness. I'm freaking disappointed in myself. Uh, we bought this really nice padded leather armor, but we didn't put it on anybody. Great. Great job, me. Good start. Way to show people how it's done. Anyway... So, yeah, ooh, 65, yeah, 55, yeah, put that on. Okay, we're done dinking around with that. Uh, I'm by no means an expert at this game. I haven't played it for a long time. Um, but
But yeah, like I said, I've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of it in the past. Uh, I still think that it's a game that requires a lot of polishing, uh, but we'll see if the DLC is kind of taking care of a lot of things. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, two skull contracts, we can take a look at what they are. Uh, it's a caravan escort. This can be kind of risky, like, because you can go through and do this and have absolutely nothing happen and be totally safe. Uh, we'll go ahead and... We need to be... Oh, wait, what? Five crowns per head. Oh, hey, this is easy. Um, actually, I want to be paid more for this. Okay. I accept. Uh, I'll need some time to think about this one. Escort caravan. Oh, it is an escort caravan. Um, whole Nyslin. I'll need some time to think about that. All right, we'll check that other stuff out in the next episode. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you uh, enjoy the playthrough. Still no supplies. This is very bad. We're going to have to go somewhere and get some... Well, I guess we can repair at uh, the armorer again. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.